Hi, my name is Ashok. Today we are going to see how the customer return functionality works in SAP S4 HANA Public Cloud. To do so, navigate to the tile name called Manage Customer Return. So one, once when you are in Manage Customer Return tile, there are two different tiles for this, which has the older version and the newer version, version 2. Currently, I'm using the version 2, which was the latest release, uh, which has got uh, published recently in the newer version. So over here, we have the search criteria of various uh, ways. Either we can, uh, we can search via the return order, sold to party, customer reference, reference document, and so on. So these uh, all fields are available in the older version as well, the search criteria. Addition to, you might ask, what is the difference between the older version and the new version? The new version has got an uh, option to create and create with reference. You might be wondering, the older version also has the same features, but what is the major difference between these two? So the major difference of here is, it has create with reference. You can select on sales order, invoice, or create from sales order without charge. So these three options are available individually. Whereas in an older version, we find uh, everything is being clumped into one single page in the OWL. Let me show you that as well. Yeah, here if you could see, I'm in the older version, uh, manage customer return type, where you can see there is only an option called to create. But whereas the entire return has the various uh, reference document including the invoice and the sales order which you can very well identify with the reference document so let me show you the newer version let's not uh, consider the older one let's have the new features enabled in it so if you see we can select with create with reference create from sales order create from invoice and create from sales order without change charge sorry so let's uh, pick create from invoice so once when you click on that create from invoice, a small pop-up uh, comes up saying to enter the return order type. So what order type we are going to use for the returns. So I have, I have uh, selected the standard uh, uh, order types over here. Then it is asking for the invoice number. So which number uh, uh, series which uh, you want to uh, create this return for. So once when you click on go in the search criteria, you can use the search filter as well and you can click on go. So either ways uh, the um, things gets populated in the below screen. So based on this, I can um, pick my required invoice. Once I select the particular invoice and below you have an option called select items. So once when you click on that, you will have the list of items which you want to return and you can add the quantities here itself. So for example, uh, the uh, invoiced uh, item was for 10 kgs. Let me do it for 2 kgs of returns. So once when I click on this, I can, uh, create, can create the return for this particular item. So the system generates the return order for this particular item for two quantities. So once you are in this uh, return order screen, you will be able to find various features over here as well. Let me go one by one. The uh, basic function has the general information of what we use in our S4 HANA on premises or on cloud or uh, either it is ECC. We will have the uh, standard sold to party, ship to party, the return order reason, even the reference, the document number, shipping condition, all remain same in either ways in all the old system. The partner function is also being pulled from the older version of the system. So now let's go jump into the items. So in item, what we got an additional uh, um, fields for here is the return reason. This is already there in the older version as well, but we have an uh, follow up activity what uh, what activity you want to give before we navigate to follow up activity let me quickly add the return reason 
So once then I add the return reason and I go to the follow up activity. So let's see what all we find it over here. So now SAP has come up with the uh, plug and play kind of concept where you can do the follow up activity where this uh, return quantity has to be placed. Either it has to get received in the plant or immediately move to free available stock, immediately move to scrap, ship to supplier or direct shipment to supplier, inspection at the customer site, product remains at customer site, immediately move to specified stock, send it back to customer. So, so whatever activity you trigger over here, it plays the vital role accordingly. So if I click on receive to plan, system automatically receives whatever return I create against this item gets uh, captured in the particular plant where I, I have triggered. If I want to immediately move to a free available stock, what will happen? I can make it to be triggered for the next upcoming sales orders. So if I want to move it to scrap, which means like I don't want to use it anymore and I'm, I just want to scrap it, the system automatically moves it to the scrap case. And if I want from here, I can directly ship it to supplier. So the uh, supplier whoever I, I created the order from, I can directly give it to him. So even he can have the initial inspection, things like that can be happened through this process as well. So there is a direct shipment to supplier as well. There are two different uh, meaning for this too. So based on your requirement, you can fetch them. The, the other option is inspection at customer side. So basically, some products which cannot be uh, transported or it, it might cost a huge amount on the transportation. So certain business tends to have the inspection happening in customer side. So for that, we can use this particular follow up activity. Then the product remains at customer site. Certain business says let it remain at customer site and let's uh, leave it as it is and let's uh, rebound them with a new product. So in that scenario, we can use this particular activity. Then immediately move to specified stock. So there should be a certain business having a specified stock location where uh, this product can be resold or inspected or like it can be. Uh, remade or scrapped or whatever the case uh, it can be used in such cases then send it back to customer send it back to customer in the sense like uh, there will be in between a bridge where the inspection happens and then again it returns to the customer it can be either ways used there are so many follow-up activities which the uh, uh, SAP has provided in the standard so again uh, we will be able to enable additional uh, follow-up activities over here uh, based on the business requirements and we can also remove the extra additional uh, follow-up activities from this list as well from the masters so basically now let for our testing purpose i'm just receiving it into the plant now coming to the next uh, field the refund type so how do you want this uh, refund to be made either you want to create a credit memo or replacement of product so based on your business requirement, we can select them either ways. Once this is done, there is one small arrow. Just click on that to navigate into it for some more details which you want to view. So once you are here, you will have the follow up activities. What I have selected is receive into plant. So over here, I can trigger the product is already received. So I can trigger this. Once this is done, you can add your inspection code, whatever you want to. Uh, added is it okay not okay partially okay audition not not possible whatever the case may be you can add it based on your business requirement once you have done all this you have added the comments and uh, say for example if you are selected in the follow-up activity for uh, return to supplier you can add your supplier uh, id and their address over here so that will trigger uh, according to your uh, supplier case if you want to return to them so again, here if you are maintaining any batches, you can trigger the batch over here. In our case, I have not selected any batch, so I am just showing the standard functionality. Also, uh, I forgot to mention here, we have the shipping details over here, where receiving plant, the re uh, receiving point, and the storage location, to which location you want to add. Since it's not been auto-picked, I am just uh, triggering it manually. 
So now the refund coming to the refund part, I have selected as a credit memo and I'm just giving the re, uh, refund quote how much percentage it is like a standard thing which SAP has given how much percentage you want to return. For example, you want to return only 10% or 20%, whatever the case may be. For our testing purpose, I'm, I'm triggering 100%. So let's see what is under the refund control. So how do you want it? So refund control is create credit memo, no refund, create credit memo request or decide later. Based on your selection over here, the selection criteria on the refund control, the system automatically triggers the activity according to it. So let, let me create a credit memo to it. So once you have done, you can see the partners and the price, how it gets accumulated. The pricing element on how the credit memo gets triggered so based on that you get all the information populated so now it looks like we have filled most of the information once you have done you can click on apply so once you have clicked on apply you can go and check on the incompleteness information if there is anything that you have missed to add so we have missed to add the order reason which I intentionally uh, let it uh, blank to make sure that we have some pop-ups to showcase to you people. So now I want I, I got to add a written uh, order reason as well. So I, I do find it in the general information under the basic data. So in the item you might be asking in the item uh, level itself I have done the uh, Return reason. So, the same case I can do it over here as well. So, I'm just taking a random thing, poor quality. So, now our uh, document says it is the incompleteness check has been run successfully, all necessary has been, data has been provided. So, once this is completed, now you can click on save and release. So you see written order is currently been uh, released for and it's successful you will get a pop-up message standard return has been created so once the return has been created now we can go and check what is the status of each step so now i we go to release the order so i have clicked on released and it's been currently processed refresh and please to check the release status for each item so let's refresh and check what is the current status so if you could see the refund status has changed to completed so same way you need to refresh and check under what status each uh, processing or the logistic or the refunding whatever the case may be how it has been uh, the status getting changed. If they are not changed, we have to go in detail of each uh, phases of the customer return and know what uh, features has been like what uh, incompleteness has happened in that particular state and we can trigger those activities. So currently uh, the processing status is open, the logistic is open and the refunding is completed. So now to understand why they are open, like we can go in detail of each uh, uh, process flow to check what has happened. So in our case, the invoicing which I have taken is this uh, nine all say uh, nine all time zeros, through which I created a return and through which the credit memo is triggered, based on which the delivery also has been received. So let's understand what has gone wrong in this particular order so the system is taking some time to refresh so now if you see the processing order processing status is completed the delivery is completed and the goods receipt also is completed in this space so now uh, we have to check how the credit memo output gets triggered so to view that we have to navigate to manage billing document under manage billing document, you can search for your uh, credit memo. The credit memo number is 9 all time 0 29. So 9 all time 0 29 is available over here. You can select it and navigate to this 
billing document that it is mentioned as credit memo it is a credit memo based on this you can select your required output to display let me quickly show you how to navigate and find the output history uh, in this pdf format so usually when we go from the screen then we double click on the billing document number and select the billing document number again we will not be in a position to view the uh, print preview uh, option in this particular window whereas you have to select that particular uh, document and click on the arrow over here once when you do that you will have the preview option available over here so click on the preview and based on which the document gets generated so here you will be able to see the return order credit memo in this screen hope this video helps you in understanding the updated version of uh, sap uh, s4 hana public cloud on customer returns do let me know if you have any concerns in this thanks for watching do like subscribe and support thank you